What's up, my YouTube family, my saxophone family? Because of events that happened today, I felt like I had a message that I needed to share, and I'm here to tell you. I have a studio date coming up. Normally, when I have a studio date coming up, or anything like a gig or something where I have to be crucial about my accuracy of playing, I make sure that my horn is kind of topped off and in shape. So I'll go call up my repairman, tell him, hey man, I got this, this date coming. Can you check up my horn, make sure I don't have any leaks? Certain things like that, make sure stuff is good and tidy, right? You kind of got to get in ahead, you know, ahead of time. I called him maybe a week and a half ago. My thing isn't until the end of this current week coming. We agreed on Thursday, which is the day before I leave, basically, because that's the earliest he can do it. Cool, no problem. It'll be fresh and ready to go. Lo and behold, today, <laughs> it's Sunday, so we're talking Thursday is when I'm supposed to see him. So today, I'm putting my horn away at an event. We have these stools that we sit on, right? My case is on the stool, just like everybody else got their case on the stool. Got my horn in the case, case top is open, and you know, I'm putting my mouthpiece and my reeds and my ligature and my neck strap, getting that stuff put away. And I'm talking to somebody next to me and we're talking about our horns and things of that nature, right? For one second, I turn and I reach and grab something. And I turn back, I don't know what happened or how, but just in a split instant, my case comes off the stool. Either I bumped it or I don't, it slipped. It was slipping, I don't know. It comes off the stool horn comes out of the case hits the ground within a moment all of these emotions ran through me in in two to three seconds hate anger sadness sorrow everything negative and dark just went through me i slowly bent down and picked up my horn what i was worried about getting checked up on for thursday before my studio session which was a little light work some leaks here and there turned into a major 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 problem now i'm forced to pretty much not use my horn and rely on something else or somebody else's horn now what happened to the horn well when i picked it up i seen a couple of keys were down the body of it was pushed forward so now that's going to take some time to you know most in most cases everything can be fixed you know matter of fact why don't i just show you if you look carefully this is not right or good you can see at the top here this is pushed forward down if i'm holding it straight your eyes don't deceive you let me hide my face so the camera won't focus on me but the horn is not straight across now it is bent forward here and not only that key wise oh look at that the keys are just staying down they're not coming up now <laughs> what am i supposed to do with this right well i still gotta do that studio session so why am i making this video always have a backup invest in one you might have to invest for a while especially if you got other things that you got to invest in invest in a backup though because you never know when something like that is gonna occur so now my six is down for the count and what do i have <laughs> this this now <laughs> we've heard me play this before am i worried no because I know, just like I believed a long time ago, that most of the percentage of what comes out of these horns is me. So I'm going to be able to make that Yamaha play. But, of course, I would prefer to have my six. But I don't have a, I don't have a better backup horn. If I did, I would be like, okay. So what, 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 <laughs> what is my situation now outside of playing this Yamaha? Well, somebody's going to let me use their reference 54. So that, that's going to be closer to my horn. But Thursday is not enough time for him to fix my horn and for me to have it and take it up there. Like this is looking like I'm going to have to just leave it with him and take this Yamaha with me. And matter of fact, I got a few days this week to get kind of used to it 
before I got to go do a recording date for an album. It's not my album, but still. So I'm just making this video as, as, as advice for anybody. If you got the main horn that you play all the time, you better have some sort of a backup that you trust and don't mind doing gigs on or even recording sessions because you never know when something like that just out of your control is just going to happen. Just throw everything out of whack like that, like it just did for me. So, yeah, man, am I sad to know that my horn took a tumble like that and now it's going to need some work. I can see see the work that it's going to need. It's going to need work. And I hate it. Of course, I hate it. <sighs> Have your backup. Invest in one. Because look at what I got to deal with now. You know what I'm saying? Right in time for album recording. But anyway, let me get on this Yamaha. Side keys. 